take away my life. Yeah. Jezebel has slain all the prophets. Uh -huh. And I'm the only one left. Yeah. And the scripture says right there, under that juniper tree, you read it when you get home. Right there under the juniper tree, yeah. he was heavy with depression. Guess what? Uh, Elijah fell asleep. Uh, yeah. 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 Now listen, tonight the aim of this sermon tonight is not only to point out that the children of God will find themselves battling with the blues, but the objective of this sermon also tonight is also to tell you that with God's help, you and I can overcome the worst case of the blues. Yeah. If you don't believe it, look at the action. The text says he went to sleep. Yeah. Now Charles Spurgeon, the British theologian, said that Elijah cried himself to sleep. All right. uh -huh. But now notice this. While Elijah was asleep, yeah. he didn't know that that God of ours was at work. Uh -huh. Because look at what happened. Scripture tells us that God sent an angel uh -huh. and charged that angel to go down there and minister to Elijah. All right. He said, go down there and watch over him while he is asleep. Uh -huh. and, and, and Scripture tells us while Elijah was asleep, the angel was there attending to him, watching over him. And then that angel went a little further. Uh -huh. Because the angel cooked supper for him. Yeah, yeah, and, and after cooking supper, amen, for him, the angel woke up Elijah. All right. And when Elijah had awakened, the angel showed him that there was food uh, and water. All right. The angel told Elijah, eat, for everything is prepared. All right. And can I tell you that while you and I slumber, uh -huh. God is working things out right. for you and me. Yeah. something in your behalf. Yeah. You see, when you and I belong to God, favor, yeah. tell somebody yeah. favor, yeah. is operating for you when, while you sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. The angel yeah. told him, yeah. eat now for everything is all right. Yeah. Yeah. Elijah ate and drank cool water oh, yeah. and went back to sleep. Uh -huh. And oh, later, the angel awakened him again and said, Elijah, there's some more food here for you. Uh-huh. He said, eat some more. For you have a long journey to make. For God has something for you to do. Oh, yes. Elijah, God has places for you to go and businesses for you to attend to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Elijah, God wants you to eat some more. Yeah. Because the journey you are about to go on is going to be long. Uh -huh. Yes. And in order for you uh, to make this journey, well, you, you need plenty of food yeah. to nourish you and to give you strength for the journey. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And she said uh, that the angel told him to eat. Go ahead. Go ahead. Told him to drink again. Yeah. And scripture said that Elijah went out on a journey. Yeah. Forty days and forty nights. Yeah. Traveling on that journey. Yeah. yeah, and he just survived of what God had already prepared for. Yeah. And when the time I got a witness here. That uh, Elijah made his way to a mountain called Mount Horeb. Yeah. This is the same place where Moses yeah. communed with God. Yeah. I wonder how I got a window. Yeah. As I told on the first night. Yeah. That when you become so down in the blues, I want you to know tonight that God is able to make everything alright. I wonder how I got a witness here. You need to understand that no matter what you're going through, my grandfather used to say. Good evening. 
evening a good evening now children god bless you all is it anybody here tonight that don't mind being a witness and a Yeah. <laughs> 